Hey everybody. Um, I can't see if that's angled right or not. There. I don't see so good anymore. Getting older sucks. Everybody says it's your vision is the first thing that goes or when you turn 40. That's absolutely right. Absolutely correct. It's almost like the day I turned 40 I got where I couldn't see. I have to wear reading glasses and even then sometimes I still can't see things right. Okay. There. That's better. Alright. <clears throat> I hope y'all are doing well tonight. Um, I've been struggling for the last hour trying to figure out what to do. Because I wanted to paint something else, but I wanted to do something different. And I didn't, couldn't get anything in mind. So, I decided what would happen if we use the Shelly Art Medium and we do a flip cup with it. And I think I tried that one time before and it didn't really work out. So, this time I put some cell activator in the bottom and then in the middle and then on the top. And then I'm going to spin it after we flip them over, maybe. Or maybe I'll blow it out. I don't know. I'm going to do something to it. To um, We have spinning potential here, though. Ooh, that's dirty. Excuse me just a minute. Let me get put the towel and wipe that down. We have spinning potential. If we want to spin, um, i set that up so we can. If we want to use the blow dryer, we can do that. I don't know what we'll end up doing. This is really dirty, gross. Look at that. Um, I guess it was out in the garage. Uh, okay, now. So anyway, I got three flip cups here. And these are Earth Tone Colors. See, and they've got some cell activator in the top. And they have some in the middle and they have some on the bottom. And these colors are, um, they have some pigment in them, and they have some paint. And there's copper, and there's bronze, and there's burnt umber, and um, black, and then the white, of course. And gold. I almost forgot the gold. So, I used Artist Loft Copper Paint and uh, Pearl X Pigment, and I used um, Liquitex Burnt Umber paint and color art pigment and I think I used a mix of two pigments on that a bronzy color and a brownie color I don't know what their names are and then there's a bronze color art bronze and um or it's a color that looks like bronze I don't know what the name of it is they got cutesy little names for all of them and sometimes I just wish they'd call them brown you know or bronze or pink or, you know, instead of peach nectar and, uh, you know, um, passion fruit or whatever. That doesn't tell me anything about what color it is. I know they have so many variations on all the different colors. I guess they're trying to struggle to come up with names that are different for each hue. You know, I guess that's hard. I guess if you were, the only alternative would be to make it pink number one, pink number two, pink number three. I don't know. I'm not in that business. <laughs> anyway, I'm giving this a long time to come down because those things are so thick. So I really don't know how this is going to work. I think I've done it before, but I think I used all pigment and no paint, and it didn't dry well was what the problem was. Um, so this time I thought I'd um, mix. The black has, I, I didn't finish going over colors, sorry. The black has Master Touch black paint in it and Arteza pigment and... Uh, of course, the white is just Floetrol and Amsterdam white paint. And the gold is Deco Art uh, 24 karat gold mixed with Arteza gold pigment. And um, I think that's all of it. So let's see what these are doing. There's going to be lots of white. I'm just going to set that right there. Ooh, that's pretty. Comes out in kind of a blob because it's so thick. I don't know. I may not. I, I'll spin it, but that's selling up pretty good right there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. It's such thick stuff. Um. 
let's see here. I'm going to tilt it just a little bit, sort of even it out. And then, um, that's beautiful. Um, that's beautiful right there. Let's give it a little spin and see what it does. I hope this doesn't like fly off. Okay, interesting, pretty. Let's do it again. I like that. I think that's really awesome. It's cool looking. I'm not gonna spin it again. I'm just gonna tilt it the rest of the way. Um, it's gonna take a while. This is really thick. Well, it's moving faster than I thought it would. That lacing is beautiful. I'll tell you what, the thing to do would be to make some cell activators of different colors and try this, you know, um, with some different colors. Um, although it's not overwhelmed with white like I was afraid it was going to be. That's really pretty. I was afraid the front was just going to take over because I put white in the base of it. I put white on the top and I put white in the middle and I was really afraid it was just going to be way too much white. But it's really not. It's not at all. In fact, there's only a little bit of white. But it's laced throughout. I mean, um, pretty much. I mean, it's kind of awesome how it's laced. Wonder how it's gonna dry though. That's gonna be the key. Right there. But I, it should be fine because I've got paint in it, you know. And I think the problem with drying comes in when um when it's just pigment alone. I think that's when you get into trouble drying. That part down there didn't spin off or anything, so we're gonna kinda help it along. Or ooze it out of the way, one of the two. Um, yeah, I think the problems come in when, um, if it's just pigment alone, that's when you um, end up with your drying issues. At least that's been my experience. I don't know about everybody else, but I've only had problems, um, those kind of problems with drying when um, I was dealing with just pigment. This got cells and stuff. I mean, it's really pretty. I'm just trying to kind of mix it up a little bit. And I like what's going on over here on this right side a little better than what's going on on the left side. So I thought I'd sort of um, push it over a little bit. I mean, that's uh, really pretty. And, um, I'm going to just drain a little bit of this paint off the bottom down there because I don't want it to craze. I don't think I've got too much on there, but you know how I'm about crazing. I'm, I'm terrified of it. I want to be sure, you know, that I'm covered as much as I can be. And I didn't put any... Oh, well, I didn't even put any pillow paint down. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, <laughs> so much for that. I was going to put a pillow paint down. <laughs> I had some over here mixed up, but I forgot to put it down, so I guess there's that. I was worried about crazing because I was worried about the pillow paint because I don't have any more GSA 800. I got a little bit left, and I didn't put any in this batch of pillow paint, so I was like, I'm worried about crazing, but um, I didn't put any in here, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> but, you know, I did that earlier today. I, I, I started to make a video, and I realized I had not, um, on that swipe, that ice storm swipe, I realized I had poured the first um, layer of black paint, and I didn't have any pillow paint down. And um, part of me... I thought about just leaving it like that and just doing it without the pillow, but I don't know, on these shell yards, on a Dutch pour, 
or something that's like a Dutch pour in that it is paint that you're trying to move over the canvas like with the hair dryer, I kind of think you need a pillow because you're going to be needing that help to, uh, you might need that help to blow the paint over the other paint. In other words, that sounds really confusing. What I'm trying to say is that if I'm doing something where I want paint to flow um, over the canvas in like a Dutch pour, um, I want as much help with that flowing, a Dutch pour, especially with Shelly Art because it's so thick. I want as help, much help as I can get making that paint flow. So I will put down a base coat on those. I don't put down a base coat on a normal swipe, um, usually, um, but on a Shelly Art one I will. Um, just because I think with that pouring medium being so thick, and if you're using a hair dryer, or no matter what you're using, it just helps to have some, um, theoretically that's supposed to help the paint flow. And if that's true, um, I want the help with that. Let me get y'all down and let y'all take a look at that up close. I think that one turned out really pretty. I like doing that. I'm going to do another one before I go to bed tonight just because I got a piece of paint with paper stuck to my foot. And I tell you, the glamour in this room is unrelenting. I mean, it is totally unrelenting. I wear no makeup. I don't even wear a bra. I come in here with my hair up, tied up on top of my head, paint from head to toe, and then I get paint stuck to my feet. Sometimes I don't even have shoes on. I mean, this is just the way it really is. Y'all want it the way it really is? That's how it really is. And you know that I don't really even care. Um, this is my room to be me, and that's just what I do. So, y'all are here for the real thing, and that's what you got. <laughs> for better or for worse. Alright, let's see. Ooh, look at that deco art gold. And I meant to put some interference gold into this one too, but I forgot. But look at how fantastic it looks anyway. I mean, that deco art just puts the shimmer in everything. And those cells back there with it. These right here. Look at that. Look at that little gold nugget stuck in the middle of it. I really like these colors. I'm surprised at how much I like them because I'm not usually much on earth tones. I like them okay, but I'm not one going to get up and holler about them usually, but this is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome looking, I think. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I'm glad y'all are here. I've been watching YouTube videos on how to optimize my channel. How to grow my channel. How to do all these things with all the keywords and metadata and beta data. And I don't understand hardly a word of it. I just wish more people saw my videos. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to do that. So, um, if you haven't liked and subscribed, especially subscribing and all that, please do. Because I'm working real hard. And... I'd like for more people to see them, and I just don't think they have the opportunity because I don't think that computer likes, its algorithm doesn't like me for some reason yet, and I'm working on it. I'm trying to become more likable, but I can only stretch it so far. I hate computers, and I think they know it, um, but I'm doing the best I can, so y'all help me out, and uh, I appreciate it. Um, I'm very grateful that you're here, and... Um, Especially those of you that I can count on, those of you that are there every single time, uh, you guys, you got a special place to me. Um, some of y'all are there uh, as soon as I post something, and, and you know who you are. So, thanks a lot. Alright, y'all, I'm going to sign off with this one, and um, I'll be doing another one right after this, because I want to see how, how this works out with some different colors, and maybe a different cell activator, I don't know. I'm always trying to do something different, so we'll see. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless you. See you soon.